For this exercise, make sure that you've got a bit of space on either side of you because we're going to be doing some traveling. It doesn't have to be the whole length of your living room or the gym, just enough so that you've got a little bit of wiggle room. We'll break this down step by step. So first, the starting position. Place your hands below your shoulders, knees below your hips. Tuck your toes under, engage your core, press your shoulders away from your ears and gaze down toward the floor. From here, press up so that your knees hover off the ground. That's where we're going to begin. Now, how on earth do we start to travel? Well, from that position, we'll need to get one limb at least over there, right? We're gonna move opposite leg and opposite arm together, okay? So we're gonna start with our lead leg and the opposite side's hand as the first parts that move. So once we're here, we're gonna step lead leg and trailing hand. Now we'll do lead hand and trailing leg. Notice that when I've stepped my foot out, my hands are close together, even though legs are far apart, and then vice versa. When I step my hand out, my knees and feet are close together. That's how you'll travel. So let me show you from here, if you've got, say, the length of a yoga mat. Lead leg, trail arm. Lead arm, trail leg. And that's how you start to do it. As you progress with this and get just the coordination down, I want you to add a layer with form and pretend like you have a plate of, of a stack of plates on your back, meaning that we do not want to be rocking on this. We really want to maintain that core engagement and flat back throughout, just letting our limbs move throughout this exercise. So start to play with it, even if you've only got room to do like step step, 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 do what you can.